Hello, Pedro, and welcome to, to the top. I'm very pleased to have you here today. Thank you so much for the invitation. It's my pleasure to be here with you today. So my first question would be, which course did you take at ISEG? So at ISEG, I studied business and management, uh, uh, economics. Okay. And what was your academical and professional path after that? So I studied ISEG for four years. I still belong to the old course of ISEG. Then uh, I, I, I did all my professional career in finance. So I started working in finance. And after a year of working, uh, I decided to do a master's uh, in finance, in financial markets at INDEC, uh, that belongs to HKT. And then uh, after three years of being uh, working, I decided to do an MBA uh, at Instituto de Empresa in Madrid. Um, and the reason why I, I went to IE was because uh, I wanted to start international career. So I thought that in order to, to, to achieve that goal, I needed to have international stamp uh, on my CV and that will allow me to open doors uh, abroad. So that's uh, my career uh, academic, let's say like this. Okay, and why did you decide to go out of Portugal? So the, the main reason uh, or the main reasons like say, that I decided to go abroad, first I started working in 2007 when the big crisis hits the entire world and of course Portugal. So I didn't see a, a future or good opportunities in Portugal. So I, I felt that I needed to go abroad if I want to achieve my professional goals. So that was my main drive that made me to look to opportunity abroad. Uh, and of course, I think that in the global world that we live today, I think it's really important we have international experience that allowed you to think globally and to uh, be exposed to big economies when compared to Portugal. So that was my two drives that made me made the decision to go abroad. Okay. And what do you do nowadays? So as I told you in the beginning, I, I always working on the financial sector. Uh, and always on the sector, which is wealth management. Uh, in Portugal, I, I work for Banco BPE on their private banking team with Portuguese clients. Uh, and then after the uh, MBA, I joined uh, Banco Santander, Banca Privada Internacional. Uh, I start in Geneva at the Brazilian desk team, where I stay there for a year. Then the bank invite me to go to the Bahamas, also with the Brazilian team, always focusing with Brazilian clients. Um, after the Bahamas, I, the bank invite me to join and to come back to Switzerland, where I stay one year in Geneva. Uh, after that year, the bank decided to open a branch in Zurich, and the bank invite me to join the team that uh, was opening that branch. So my job, as I told you, I always work with Brazilian clients. Um, the main job, the main roles is managing the savings of Brazilian clients that have money abroad. So out of Brazil uh, as a diversification strategy. Uh, so I can help them with how they should invest their money, how they think in terms of inheritance, uh, how to become uh, fiscal more efficiency, so help them to managing their, their savings. And today, uh, and after Santander, I joined UBS in London, uh, their Latin desk as well, also focused on Brazilian clients, but at UBS, I, I also have clients from other areas uh, from Latin America, such as Peru, Chile, um, and Mexico. Uh, so that's, uh, that's what I do. So um, I'm a relationship manager, private banker, whatever you want to call. Uh, uh, and my goal is try to help my private clients to achieve their goals in terms of financial investments. Okay. And where do you see yourself going in the future? What are your career goals? So I think I'm going to mix a little bit of professional to personal goals. 
So I want to come back to Portugal. That's one thing I have on the top of my mind. When, I don't know. Uh, I think with the COVID and with this pandemic, it's becoming more challenging right now to, to find an opportunity back in Portugal. So I have very clear in my mind that I would like to have my own company, my own business. Uh, I still doesn't know what could be that that business. So thinking, speaking with my friends, brainstorming with different people, but no idea yet. So I think that could be uh, one way to come back to Portugal. And of course, I want to grow uh, in my company to achieve a, a management level. I don't know if I will be able to accomplish that or not. But of course, we want to grow. We want to achieve the the maximum possible when when uh, on the company that we are working for do you have any advices for ESEC students that have an ambition to pursue an international career i don't know if i'm allowed to give advice to anyone but uh, based on my uh, on my career based on what i achieved which is good but not uncommon uh, i think what make me achieve what I achieve today, I think were three or four things. First, believe in yourself. I think uh, we always think that we are not so good as we are. So believe in yourself. Uh, that's one, one of the things. Be proactive. So doesn't don't, don't wait to see it happen. We live in such a competitive world. So if you don't fight for what you want, no one will do it for you. So be proactive. Look speak with people, try to do the most contacts as possible. Be prepared to listen a lot of no's. I think uh, I only heard two yes in time, all my life when I joined Santander and UBS. The rest, it was, I think, 95% of the jobs interview I had, it was a no. So don't uh, become unmotivated because you are not able to achieve the job that you apply for uh, and don't quit. I think uh, that's uh, what I did in my life and I was able to achieve the goals that I wanted. So that's sharing my experience. I don't, I don't like to use the word advice because I think I'm no one to give advice to, 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 to other persons. So based on my experience, I think this drives is what allowed me to achieve what I achieved today. Okay, thank you. And I have one final question. So what have you learned from being abroad? So personally, again, which is something important, is that I love Portugal, that I think we are an amazing country. Uh, I think the Portuguese are an amazing professionals. All the Portuguese I met around the world, they are successful and they were able to uh, achieve all their dreams and, and become a really good professional. Uh, and then in, in Portugal, we have an amazing lifestyle. Uh, and that the, all the Portuguese I, I speak around the world, all of them want to return one day back to Portugal. So I think what makes our country special. Uh, and, and secondly, I think uh, in, uh, being having international career or living, uh, having experience living abroad, help you to open your mind. I think one of the problems of Portugal is being small uh, and sometimes doesn't allow us to think out of the box. Uh, and being exposed to big economies, big countries, uh, being out of your comfort zone, help you to open your mind and think out of the box. So I think that are the two uh, takeaways that I, I take from my international experience either professional and personal. Thank you so much. It was a, a pleasure having you here today. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Anything I may help, anything you need from me, I'm always available. You have my contacts and hope one day that we can do this interview in person yeah. uh, uh, when we come back to normality. And yeah, I hope that's hope so. soon. Thank you.